All right, welcome back, everybody. I know I said uh, <clears throat> probably my last sorcery videos were uh, a couple, uh, or well, the last sorcery video that I had, but uh, I did buy the Ruby Kit. So, busting into the Ruby Kit here. Comes with the pre con deck, um, three booster boxes. Play mat and a promo. So we've got our three beta booster boxes. I am going to keep one of these booster boxes sealed because I want to keep some sort of sealed product. I do have, sorry, just moving things around here. I do have a sealed case still. So there's the pre -condex. Here is the lovely Pillars playmat. We're going to bust it out. We're going to open on the playmat. And our promo. Well, that's silver label, so not a 9.5. We got ourselves a 9. So, edges, of course, 8.5, 9.5 on the centering, and two 9s for surface and corners. We'll take it. I still have the other promo, so plan on uh, I do plan on keeping those so let me go ahead and adjust the camera view here and we're gonna get cracking into the first box so again I want to say welcome everybody thanks for uh, joining the channel or being a viewer like I said I will be keeping one of the uh, one of the boxes sealed so i'm going to open two boxes second box will be opened in a second video here so give you a little more entertainment but keeping keeping the single box sealed I'll eventually get a bearish case or some sort of case for it um, and keeping the sealed case that i still have that i thankfully bought uh, a couple weeks before Team Covenant sold out, so let's get right in. Was this a good decision? No, not at all. <laughs> this box is definitely worth more sealed than it is unsealed, and will be worth more sealed in the future than it is unsealed, but I don't care. I want to open some more sorcery. I cannot wait for Arthurian Legends to come out. Still hoping I can find a curio. Rudy boxes have never disappointed me. So we start with our first three cards as exceptionals, uncommons, if you will. Our first uh, slot number four is an elite. So that will be elite or unique. So what one would consider rare or like a mythic. Been a while since I've opened some sorcery, so I'm trying to get back into the groove and remember everything about the packs. But we got ourselves an enchantress, so the enchantress is considered like an elite. And just sorting through the back because I'm still hoping to find a curio. I opened way too many boxes. without a curio. There's an earthquake, another elite. <clears throat> All right, Ooh, there we go, there's a step. Put that there. 
our first unique is the color out of space. I did not open many of these in boxes, so happy to see that. Now it looks like we've got a foil back here. Ooh, there we go. A seer. Nice. So that uh, that's considered an elite. And then a flame collar. And go ahead and sleeve all this stuff up real quick. And remembering I am too used to opening Star Wars. That's uh, what I've been opening the most of lately. Sleeve up that step. I guess I don't really need to, but we're going to sleeve it up anyway. There we go. All right. So uh, in these boxes, your foils are one in every four packs. So we expect nine foils. Wrath of the Sea Elite. Um, and the Uniques are one in every five packs. So typically you see seven. Sometimes you see an eighth. Ooh, there we go. Great, great hit with a Grandmaster Wizard. One of the few Elites that uh, that still kind of retains some value. I'm just going to set him up at the top there. I can say out of the elites, Grandmaster Wizard definitely by far was what I opened the least number of. Right, so there we go. Second step. And nothing at the back. Again, I do appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, subscribe, leave me some comments. And an Unland Angler. The uh, more of you I get to hit that like button or leave comments, interact, whatever, the more views or the more YouTube pushes my videos out. So appreciate all of you that, uh, that are liking the videos. Get yourselves a ghost ship. Do have uh, as most of my other uh, card games. Do have play sets of commons and uncommons of this available if you are interested. And probably even put together at least one set, extra set play set, I guess I should say, of commons and uncommons and elites. And browse. There we go. Another uh, another good hit. Very unique. One time, want to be blown away by opening a curio. <clears throat> I can definitely say, at least with the few of these pulls already here, I am more than satisfied with this first box. Ooh, Grim Reaper. Another solid hit. And our second foil is a True Sight Crossbow. Could just buy them. I am working on a foil playset. I do have my regular foil set finished and together. Um, and I am working on a foil playset about uh, about 200 cards away. I think, uh, I think it's a little over 1,200 or something like that in total for that. Once I eventually get it together. I will bring it back. Mix Ignis. Nice. And a free city. Okay. I think that was uh, actually, well, at least this, those two I already had enough of. Free city was one that I still needed. So, all right. We'll sleeve up the Mix Ignis. And we'll sleeve up said free city. Probably do a... Uh, small collection video or something like that to kind of 
show off the play sets. Little little brag video. Once once I do get everything and it's all together, so looking forward to doing that. And some cauldron crones. We do not need those. If you are interested in anything, check out my uh, link to my TCG player store. We got uh, exceptional, two exceptionals, and two exceptionals, one ordinary, and a new. Uh, <clears throat> I am into the second stack here. I do go left to right in my boxes. An elementalist. And we got ourselves another foil. A mountain pass. All right. I think I still needed one more mountain pass as well. So this, uh, this box is turning out well for collection purposes. Another exceptional. No guarantees on what you will open. There's a Shifting Sands. That is one that comes in the Curio, but that should be back here somewhere in a Curio slot. And Chaos Twister. All right, Edge of the World Elite. There's our first elite. That is a site. I haven't, uh, haven't pulled one yet, so I do like to sort the, the the spell book and atlas cards. There we go. Another duel with an aqueduct and crossroads. Another good. That's a site. Another good site card. Legion. Cornerstone and an Imperial Road. Now we're starting to see the sights there. Couple packs left in this middle slot here. Can we find ourselves a curio? We're gonna find some more of the Alchemy Nine in here. Season Cell Sword. Nothing so far. Still only three uniques, so we are expecting four more. Uh, actually, four more of both between foils and uniques. All right, we got ourselves a crossroads duplicate there, but that's okay. And some wild boars, ordinary foil. ourselves another foil in this pack and the shifting sands and a Magellan globe and some sisters of silence another elite all right so we are at seven now yeah we got three six number seven so move these out of the way so I don't knock it over, but we've got our last stack. On the right. Uh, Puppet Master. I feel like that Puppet Master is underutilized. Give it, uh, 
you gain control of all Taft Dominions that uh, that are there until until the Puppet Master leaves play. You give that get them to stack a couple uh, units tapped on a spot. Ooh, I mix Aqua and then drop that and then give it stealth. <laughs> then they can't take it back. And you have their minions for the rest of the game or until they die. All right, so we are still looking for four uniques. Unless I miss something and uh, put a unique in the elite slot there. I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think I was. I don't think I've missed anything. Uh, Queen of Midland. All right, there's our fourth unique. Three more uniques, two more foils. The twist of fate. All right, there we go. Down to two and two. Some more monks. I'm seeing quite a bit of duplication on the uh, elite side here. Be nice if we got duplications of the Grandmaster Wizard or the mixes or something like that. Some bull demons. And nothing. Bodyguards. And nothing. Some of you are wondering why I'm kind of looking. Sometimes you, know, you can see little uh, little air holes on the back end here. And if you find one of those, you can usually just press into it. But in this one, it didn't have any. It usually tears the pack a little easier than trying to tear it down the spine there. So... Flame wave. Oh, there we go. All right. Got ourselves a foil unique. The ruby cases don't disappoint. I guess in this particular occasion, ruby half case, but got ourselves a courtesan. Looks a lot better on, on camera. Uh, it is a little flat in color when you're looking at it, but looking at it in person, I guess I should say, but when you get that shine. All right, so we got two, four, five, so we still need two more uniques and two, four, six, eight foils. So two more uniques, one more foil. Can we hit ourselves some power here? Undertaker engine and our last, oh man, all right. Do not disappoint. Aquamarine Corps foil. Hell yeah. All right. This was the only Alchemy, Alchemy 9 card in foil that I hadn't pulled personally to this point. So, uh, yeah. That's just a beautiful hit. Just a beautiful hit. We should have two uniques left. At the end here and then onyx core all right <laughs> everything was in this left hand call or right hand column and final pack and some star seeds all right Final unique, 
I'm going to assume that no more foils. Yep, nope, no additional foils. But the really big hits out of the case, or out of the box, I'm sorry, not case. Got ourselves a color out of space, brows, Grim Reaper, Onyx Core, and then these two beauties in foil. There we go. Wow. Trying to get a little bit of light on both of them. So, all right. Well, like I said, Rudy cases, Rudy boxes never, uh, never disappoint me. So that was box one. We're going to go to box two uh, in another video here. Um, I'll probably crack into the... Now, nah, you know what? I'm going to keep that starter deck thing sealed. I was going to say I'll crack into that at least. Uh, at least get the pack out of that. But I will. I'll keep that sealed. One more look. One more look. All right. I appreciate everybody watching. You have a good one. And take it easy.